So when did civilization begin? Well, some would say about 5,000 years ago when the Sumerians came up with beer. And we know that they did because shards of pottery have been found and uh, they had some calcium oxalate in there and uh, 5,000 years old. And that's a giveaway of the presence of fermented barley. Uh, the ancient Egyptians were into beer as well. Uh, they actually used it as a medicine. They would take an onion and uh, put it into beer, steep it in there for a while, and they said that it was a remedy for death. Well, as far as I know, all the ancient Egyptians are dead. During the Middle Ages, uh, beer took on a different value. Water, of course, was very dangerous in those days because they had no purification. But the uh, fermentation process, of course, produces alcohol, and alcohol was deadly to many, many microbes. So it was far safer to drink beer in the Middle Ages than to drink water. In fact, the first ever purity law uh, involved beer. And that was in the uh, 16th century in, in Germany. And the law was passed that uh, beer could only be made of uh, water, uh, hops, and barley, and nothing else. And that purity law still stands today in, in Germany. Um, Edward the Confessor in England was worried that some of his uh, beer makers may be adulterating the beer with sugar. So he uh, had a very interesting way of finding this out. He had beer inspectors who would wear lederhosen, leather breeches. They would take some of the beer and spill it out onto a wooden bench and they sit down on it. If they had a hard time standing up, it meant that the beer had been sugared because it became sticky. Well, today, of course, uh, we have all kinds of purity laws uh, with beer, but uh, there still are some concerns, uh, particularly about a compound naturally present in beer called 8 Uh This comes from hops. The female uh, hop plant produces flowers, and those, of course, are used to give the characteristic bitter flavor to beer. But they also have estrogenic properties. And uh, there are stories of uh, women who gather the hops by hand, having their menstrual cycles uh, altered. And there are some, some concerns that people who drink a lot of beer uh, may have some estrogenic uh, effect. Something that has been uh, indicated has been the uh, man boob. Uh, people, men who drink a lot of beer, supposedly have some sort of growth in that particular area, although this really hasn't been uh, documented. And another worry, of course, is something called brewer's droop. And uh, you can imagine what that means uh, for men who partake in a lot of beer. But the amount of 8 penonaringenin that is in the beer is not enough for uh, any brewer's uh, droop. All seems to be okay.